Good evening, welcome to FMA Discussion. This is episode 386, and tonight these gentlemen have been on before. They're probably the most noble in the AI community today, and that is GM Romy and GM Yuli. And tonight we're going to be talking about a few things, the list, what resonated in their, as far as their time with Tatang and what they're, you know, what they extracted from him and when their current methodology in front of what they expressed to their students and the importance thereof. So if you're watching, tell us where you're watching from, smash that like button. And also, if you have questions, I will try to get them. Please put them in the comment section, but bear with me. If it's something, a question that's not exactly what we're talking about, I promise I will get to it later. I just don't want to interrupt the flow of things. So without further ado, we have GM Romy and GM Yuli. Good evening, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming on. How's everybody? Welcome. Uh, I'm okay. Jim okay. Yuli, you still with us? I'm okay. Good. Good, good, good. So you guys heard the intro. So the, uh, the first thing is, um, as you guys are well aware, the list came out. And I thought, um, I really don't have an issue with the list. Uh, I thought it was in some ways, it's kind of nice bringing, you know, as far as who was first generation and so forth. I did see some omissions in there um, that I thought there were folks that should be included on that list. And But you guys certainly know better than me on that. Um, I think that's one of the issues with the list. Sometimes people get left out, you know, intentionally, unintentionally in that. And so since you guys were way back and you guys have such historical content, far as your tenure with Illustri Samo and just being in the KI community for the longevity that you guys have been. Um, let's start with you, GM Romy. The list, I mean, you know, again, I have nothing against John Chow. I I'm assuming he's probably a good guy and had the best intentions. And so there's nowhere an attack on him, but there were some omissions on there and the order of things seemed um, incorrect. Am I, uh, am I off base here? Or what, what do you think? Uh, yes, I agree that there may be some omissions uh, and that also uh, the ranking in the sense of who came first, okay, may be off. But then Jan Chow was not a resident of the Philippines. <coughs> Interesting. So, and where was he located? Well, originally he came from Malaysia. And then he immigrated to Australia. Got it. Okay. Okay. And uh, he was not always around. He, he would visit when he could scrape up enough money to come and visit. And these were uh, rare. Ah, that's so, right. His initially was with GM Ray. Okay. Yes. 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 I'm not even sure that uh, he was initially with... Uh, uh, GM Ray. Uh -huh. Just so folks can see. Uh, I'm in any case, I first met him through Tony Diego. Okay. Okay. And he had brought in a student from Australia by that time. But originally, he came from Malaysia. Well, and from Malaysia. We, okay. we were able to discuss uh things that are Mali, okay. which only we would know. And then he immigrated to Australia, as I said, and his visits became more rare. So we cannot fault John for not having a complete list or even a proper chronology of who arrived first and who was last to see Tatang, because even that list that we discussed uh, is not complete because the group of Henry Espera mm. are not included in that list. Which and I there have were here. some students of Henry yeah. who had met Tatang, who had, had some time with Tatang, mm. but they don't seem to be as eager to make claims. Yeah, quiet, huh? Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, and then there are those who 
who seem to make it a point of honor to claim that uh, they had uh, seen Tatang. Yeah, you know, it's always or both even ways. Claim huh? that they were taught by Tatang. But see here, even in the early days, except for the first uh, maybe four or five years, uh, Tatang was already very old. Uh, he was 86 when I first met him, mm -hmm. although he was mistaken to be 75 by Belzer. Okay, he was such a vigorous uh, man. Yeah. And in the four or five years uh, that we were training with him, he had waned slowly. You know, old men, they always say, ah, I just need rest. Come back and then I, I might be more energetic and I'll teach you some more. <clears throat> but when you come back, he's no longer back to what when you last saw him, he is even less in terms of energy. Right. Okay. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> there may be some, some uh, lack of uh, performance. Just the general movement but no longer the same astounding, almost superhuman uh, skills yeah. that would have been seen in the previous year. Right. Okay. And this affects the quality of pickup. Sure, sure. Yeah, regardless of who yes. you are. Yeah. Uh, and uh, Tatang was not always in a mood to explain Yuli is the luckiest guy. <clears throat> GM Yuli, huh? <laughs> because Yuli saw so Tatang in 1976. Oh, God. So he and was... In 78 76? or 79. Okay. And when the group was formed and we joined uh, the competitions of the Narafil and of WECAF and the other organizations that came in, Yuli was our trainer. And since he saw Tatang move when Tatang was younger and more vigorous, mm. uh, the techniques that he picked up from Tatang were really the original movements of the old man. How interesting. This okay. is key. Yeah. Brutally efficient. Uh, you would you would fear even just watching. Yeah, I know I so would. So the the first competitions in which there were foreigners, they would complain, "Hey, they're trying to kill us." <laughs> but you know, you have a mask. Yeah, you yeah. have a helmet, and you are in this kind of medieval armor that is uh, designed to protect you from any kind of harm. Mm. except possibly a well-made throw. And we had eliminated even the left hand in competition to keep it safe. We wow. eliminated the thrust to keep it safe. Wow. Okay, so you could be run over or hit by a car moving at maybe 20 miles per hour and, and survive it and not yeah. even get hurt. With that kind of uh, suit of armor that we were using. Yeah, all the armor, and plus then we're taking the left yeah. hand out and taking yes. the thrust out. And yes. Yeah, right, right. Um, but but, but hmm. the quality of the design of the techniques that were taught by Yuli to our players was such that the contending parties would claim that we were trying to kill them. It was so violent. It was so vicious. That is illustrissimo. Oh, and wow. Yuli was our coach, head trainer, coach. Coach, trainer, okay. Okay. Uh, four years running. And uh, the quality of the work was really very excellent. Yeah, we came about... on an episode with Renee Tongson. They, I mean, re, even GM Renee said that Yuli's team and his um, 
his coaching was just off the charts. Uh, I do have, oh, a, yes. have a question here, Mong Romy. Maybe you can uh, translate it uh, um, to uh, GM Yuli. And this is from Elric. Elric is asking, can the Oblig or O-L-U-V-G, I, I'm, I'm guessing the tournament that stands for abbreviation, uh, tribute to Mong Yuli be touched on? Can the I-O-U-V-G attributed to Mong That's Elric's, Elric's question. Uh, I-O-U-V-G correct was a kind of shorthand for name for certain techniques, individual movements that were part of a uh, full technique. Okay. Oh, they're part of make, okay. It was to make teaching uh, the new guys easier because tatang would would be rarely seen moving those techniques it was second hand it was even third hand mm. and while significant as uh, codes for really deadly techniques uh, when you're teaching you cannot be you cannot be executing those techniques with the full intent of the technique. What you do is you make a slow movement uh, and you try to expect your uh, trainee to understand that. But the atmosphere in which the original movements originally shown by Tatang uh, has become just a very strong memory in the minds of, to my understanding, to Yuli, to myself, to Henry Espera. Okay. So, okay. In, I guess what Elric's asking is, um, so is it, a, is it a tribute to Mong Yuli then? And if so, can he touch upon it? I, I'm I'm confused. What does Elric mean by I O U V G? The That's question. what I'm trying to um, Elric. If maybe if you perhaps you can just expand on that. Um, there. Here's another question for GM Yuli. Uh, does Mong Yuli teach coaching for tournaments and training methods to future coaches or instructors as part of curriculum? Yul. Yol, yes, Yuli. Yes. It's a part okay. of, I guess, I understand. My method teaching in especially when I quote is part of curriculum. Yes. Part of my curriculum. Because probably I know in Tata, for me, I mean, I was understanding in the actual uh, combat in tournaments, especially in tournaments, proper timing. We need a footwork. The lower body, the upper body, and the plastada, the placing of the stripe. That's it. That's three. You need this curriculum until now. But sometimes I change because, you know, the art of that is very simple. Not good to look. It's like a stick, fight, stick fighter. Nothing. For me, it's different. When we talk about martial arts, like Eskrima or Arni. That's a lot of techniques, lots of curriculum. But for me, my own, I chose the only the three. The three level of uh, so I know. Okay, you know. Yes. What what I mean? It's very hard to explain, you know, because uh, for me I look I'm not interested in the terminology. I look the art of Tatang how. He fight. Mm -hmm. How he? No, I I don't. Do, that's why there are so many. Uh, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, terminology. For me, the only is stack or is a pack, pack the footwork. Always, always repeat and repeat footwork. Lutang, lutang, lutang. And then after that, the second is footwork, lutang, and bagsak at the same time. And the third is you can 
you can install you can uh, go to the pit the bagsak <laughs> your safety in bagsak that's all and then distancing distancing for me is the lutang the footwork and lutang like a double carrera the double carrera is footwork first before you lutang and then you fishing there they have that footwork the left the lutang the right fishing the left that's only like it's like a boxing it's simple This arming is only sublet. Sublet. From here is a uh, pluma sublet, and from here this is a uh, cardinaria sublet, pluma sublet. There's no. Uh, there, I know there's a uh, lot of name, but I'm not interested. In that. You know why? Because I'm also coaching. <laughs> coaching for the for, for the combatant, for the fight. I don't like to teach what what is that uh, for that. That is only for to win. How to win? How to win the tournament? That is my focus. And then focus, right? timing is there. Timing is there. Now in actual fight, if timing, this was the use of technique. The timing, bang, finish. finish. <laughs> There is another technique. No technique. That, that that's it. If you hit, that is good. If you cannot hit, that is bad. That's all. You know that. Uh, <laughs> yes, you know that. Yes. What is, what is the best? If you hit, good. If you cannot hit, bad. What is the power part? No powerful. How can you feel power in your sickness? So if your sickness is not power, the important is to hit. If you cannot hit, what is the best strike tank? If you hit, what is number one? The first strike, number two, the second strike. Where? Anywhere. The first strike is number one. The second strike is number two, of course, and that's it. So it's like that. Different. <laughs> Now then, uh, we. <laughs> For me, because I'm already coaching of the tournament, that's why I need the art how to, you know, imagine during my time. This is a uh, very hard. You know the uh, the picture, the three mass of the stick is damaged. That's why the nose, the bridge of the nose cracked because the because the 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 you know the shirt is going down, pulling down the the wire like that. Oh, the wire. Ah, okay. Yes. Yeah. The uh, the, <clears throat> the wire protector. Yes, one hundred percent. The hockey gloves full out because three months preparation, every day training, with proper food after training, support by the local government. I'm very lucky. Without that, maybe I can't because I'm poor. That's why all the time. Why genuinely? Para kayo na papatay ng ahas. But in trading, it's only like that. But in real, like Muay Thai, a white crew is a very slowly, but in fight, it's very strong. In mm -hmm. it's only like that. But in real fight, wow. Wow, smash. The hockey gloves, did you remember in uh, Narapil? Yes. Narapil with Hidokos, yes. the, the, the grandson of Tatang, Hidokos, uh, against yes. the Alex De La Cruz. He is a Shotokan fighter and he's from Mangue yes. Lima. I think the, the thing is out because the The finger of the hockey club is full out. It's a new. I know that. Wow. Like the Lusachibo fighter. It's a hard to kill a person. Yes, I remember that. Yeah. Uh, Jeez. Uh, power. We don't uh, power. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Um, power. So uh, we'll get back to. Um, we can get back to the list. That's that's fine. Um, so when. Okay, okay. This whole thing. Uh, GM roaming. Um, you obviously you saw you know the episode regarding if Jim you know Shizuma was a good teacher or not, and that kind of created a bunch of dialogue after the show, pros and cons, and some people were, were upset with it, even though we were trying to actually substantiate that in some regards he was, depending on who you were as a student and all that. So, what can you say to us as far as I guess him as a teacher, you know? You know, obviously, the modern day, as you indicated in the test run, you know, where they need, you know, this new generation needs syllabus and levels and context and all that. Um, what say you on this? Uh, the normal human reaction to seeing something is to only see what he has been trained to see and what he knows 
when a human being sees a movement that is strange, <laughs> he eradicates that. Throws it out. He reinterprets it in the way that he can understand the movement. So the fine That's detail of movement is ignored or is reinterpreted with what he knows. If all he knows is boxing, he will interpret the movements of the sword or even the stick as boxing. He will interpret it from an eight limbs point of view. Okay, so while the stance may be the same as a boxing stance, the intention is different. Correct. Okay. Because a weapon, a tool user, uses the tool to create damage. An eight limbs person uses his fist, his elbow, his knees, and his feet to create damage. Mm. Which means the force must be delivered from the ground to the limb that moves to destroy. With the sword or with the tool, you do not need to take power from the ground. You need speed. Speed, accuracy. Okay. okay. Physics. Speed times weight or mass equals force. You do not need to take power from the ground. You can take mm. power from speed. So the movement is different. And th this is what Yuli is trying to point out today. What Yuli has done is synthesize the bare necessities for a sport activity. He was able to teach, for instance, when I was talking, he would go worldwide and teach. Chile Caliceros, my dear God, the way these people sparred the Combate General, it is as if a cultural memory was reawakened in these people of Spanish origin to the times of the Reconquista. Okay. <laughs> this 80-year battle to free themselves from the Moors. They were fierce. You should see their videos. Very fierce, very strong, and they don't mind getting hurt. And this was the same in Turkey. This was the same even in Ireland. Di ba yun? Oh. Yes. Yes. Because uh, people saw what they remembered, mm. what was told to them, and copied it. But if you are used to something else, then you will not be able to copy it. You need to be educated into what you can see. Interesting, interesting. And so um, same question for you, GM Yuli. As far as Ilshizamo as a teacher, um, same, qu same question to you. OK. In my in my and in, in my understanding, the tatang actually this is a, okay sorry, uh, tatang is not my teacher. Wow, because I learn from tatang by the distance. I copy what he moves. Mm. Tatang do like the hills after that with my pedaling, he copy. Okay, Tony, facing to Tatang. Okay, throw me face to Tatang. Then I was watching. It's like naninilip ako. What you call that? Ako ang naninilip. Uh, he's a peeping Tom. It's like he's a peeping Tom. Yeah. Oh, okay. he's just, wow. He's just observing. How to? The footwork from the, from the bright side to the dark side, all angle. Because in front of Tatang, wow. Because if maybe you finish your eye, so you are very conscious. You, you cannot, you are not uh, eating. So I have the distance like that in any angle, uh, sitting on the bench of the concrete bench. That's why I put that for me. 
Tatang is not my teacher, but he is my idol. You know why? Because I copy him. I don't care what what is the terminology. No, my understanding is only Estrella vertical. It's like Ploma or uh, Saplet or any. That's what. And the fourth part, important is the fourth part. The problem in English is no Lotang. This is this is uh, the I don't know, what we call that. This is a uh, uh, leg. Uh, what we call that? Uh, floating leg. Even if you kick, that is a floating leg already. Side kick is a floating leg. Same thing. Because the lutang of that time is like a back kick, mm. right? So all kicks is a lutang, is a floating leg. But this is yeah, you know when I remember here, Alex Ko and Topio, oh, that's lutang, lutang, lumu lutang apa. So it's like that. But actually, originally there is no lutang. I know the company. No, no. This create a lutang. No. This is lutang. But actually, from the beginning, there is no lutang. And we, dininya ganda lang natin in so uh, what we like. So no, no lutang. lutang then, no double yes. uh, for the football. No. Let let no. me explain. Sure. Let me explain. The Philippine languages and dialects are not literal. Yep. Okay. okay. They are figurative. And also philosophical in our own philosophical system. So if you translate the words of Yuli literally from Tagalog to English, you will get lost. Okay. He says Tatang was not his teacher because Tatang did not teach. No, I, I, yeah, no, I've heard you say that, mention that before, and I'm, I'm understanding yes. there. Okay. Yes, you understand that. Uh, but when he says, for instance, the lutang is simply a leg that is raised, whether it's a kick, whether it is to avoid a strike, it is simply a lutang. And right. lutang means float. Correct. And it's very difficult for a English speaking mind to understand mm -hmm. a floating leg. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So. Now, there will need to be a more careful study of how Yuli uses the terms. But he is able to explain it while he is with the student because I am witness to his production of countless excellent uh, I think, I think. Oh, this is, this is right here. Okay. Oh my God, this is it. This is it right here. This is it. And if there's one saying that we can leave with, <laughs> the original distance learner, GM Yuli Romo. <laughs> right at that. Yes. Maestro right at that was classic. Man, mm. Gosh. Um, wow. But uh, yeah, no, I know I'm definitely having uh, GM Yuli in the past. I've mentioned him being the observer. So different, you know, and I've heard him mention this before, and he can speak more on this if, if he if he wishes to. You know, depending on the angle you were watching, and you know, as far as the nuances on the Anganos, which he, you know, which he picked up on and all that, perhaps for the people standing right in front of him or behind them, obviously they maybe were obviously missing, a, you know, a great deal of the nuances and all that. So I definitely get with his vantage point of, you know, definitely being on certain angles and that. And so I, I, I've always appreciated his discussion on that. Which is why Yuli would always be at the fence. Correct. Because he can actually almost stand on the fence. Yeah, look up, look to down. Have an almost bird's eye view. Yes, the aerial view. It's very clever of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, you know, even you, the, even you, Ixo, even you, Rumi, you are sitting on the bench of the concrete bench also. Yeah. Yeah, you know, even you, you're, you're, because you also, you know, to look that time. Then, when the time I spar, I'm very confident. I'm very, I'm very confident. I have no problem. It's like, uh, you know, and add some more, uh, you know, it's like King Koi. No, because I feel very confident. Inspiring so for me. Um, wow. Inspiring for ask, me. No problem. <laughs> I yeah. dare ask, uh, which we're going to get to this, this could be as good as time as any, um, you know, what happened? 
Um, <laughs> so in other words, in other words, like what, like what you, Jim, Yuli has mentioned, he saw your comments as well, Jim, Romy. Um, what are we, where we're seeing today, there's obviously kind of two different worlds, if you will. You, you know what I mean? And this is why, which I made a point to try to study with Jim Yuli because I want historical content. I want to know what he did back then before his age kicked in and his transformation of what he did, or depending on the lens, who saw what and that. But what can you, I guess, and this is for both of you, like what happened from 76 to let's say 97? I don't know. When he unfortunately when he passed. Who wants to go first? I will. Sure. <clears throat> What Yuli did was eventually, after maybe 20 years, to synthesize the body of movements that we saw in Tata. Yuli could teach every single technique that he witnessed that Tony and I listed because they were the full range of the movements that were taught by Tata. But if we go back to the analogy of uh, Western boxing, Western boxing, if you are theoretical about it, somehow a fist can be directed from 360 degrees of angle which would mean 360 punches. But only five punches are used in boxing. In boxing, right. Okay. Right. And this is exactly what Yuli has done. He has synthesized and taken away the more complex movements of Illustrissimo. Those that need years of practice. Mm, refinement. Those that, okay. those that require a different skill development. Okay? And put the synthesis in the context of sports arnis. That is why he has a term, actually. Huh? Stick boxing. Yes. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, because he's limiting it now. What do you need to be a good sports competitor? In the context of the way that Arnis has been structured, where certain movements are not allowed, where certain movements are allowed, etc., etc. Because this is what happens when you turn a martial art into a sport. You need to take away the dangerous movements and retain the few movements that will do what the art is supposed to do, meaning to strike. But even the strikes are designed not to be dangerous. So there is padding and there are special weapons like foils that are designed. You know, the rattan stick by most people is thought of as a uh, weapon, but it is not. The rattan stick is the equivalent of the foil or the shinai. Correct, it is correct. supposed to be able to deliver an impact to show a point, but it is not deadly. Okay, even if you really tried your best, it is not deadly. But of course, certain types of rotan can be so dense that they become effective impact in the mm. Let so, me share a story. So Jim Yuli, obviously, right. you had great success and yes. kind of taking, oh, yes. distracting poor stuff to make yes. the fighting team so successful and, and that. Um, and so I guess my next question is, and you and I just took down a question that Eugene asked earlier. And so I guess what was this? Is, and again, this question is for both of you. What was the core? What was the beginning material? So in other words, before there was kind of a KI quote unquote curriculum, 
what was there in the beginning? Like specifically, what is Kusada there in the beginning? Uh, Eugene seems to be asking a question as if he's asking for ABC. Um, let me go back up and just see if I can. Um, here it's coming, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Uh, Hey, bear with me, it's coming right now. Okay, here we are. Uh, well, his question, okay, I'm kind of taking back off his question. His actual question was, who created the Illusional Curriculum? But my question before you, James, is what was the beginning material? Like, what was shown by Illusional What was kind of, I guess, the core, core stuff, core techniques that he showed? And then I guess we can segue into Eugene's question. Who came up with, I guess, the KI curriculum? Yes. Tatang would do an appropriate technique to the type of attack that you aimed at him. So there is no basic. We asked him once, Tatang, what is the most important of all the techniques you showed? And he said, we will not study them unless they are all important. They are all equally important. So there is no A and there's no Z. Okay. Because the Western mind wants to think in terms of a system. Tatang system was based on measure, which is what Yuli keeps on uh, thinking about. It's always measure, distance, okay? The appropriate technique is based on the distance. On the distance, okay, okay. Yes, which you have set up for your opponent. It is not an accidental distance. You set him up. With the intention. Okay. Well, le let me be more uh, formal in this. Since Escrima is derived from the Spaniards, okay, the concepts are also Spanish but have been forgotten hmm. in time. Measure is called uh, med medio de proporción. Meaning to say you have equal distance at the beginning. At the beginning, emphasis. Okay. Yes. When you go and attack, you are taking your share of the proportion. Mm -hmm. The medio de proportion is appropriated by you, and that is called me medio apropriado. The measure that you have taken for yourself to the disadvantage of your opponent. Okay? And that is exactly what Yuli has rediscovered in his study of Tatang. Mm. Not studying under Tatang, huh? study of Tatang. The study of, right? Not studying, the study of. Okay. Well, of good. The study of the person of Tatang yeah. as a fighter. So he, he eventually understood that Tatang would set you up where he can hit you and you cannot hit him. Correct. And that when Tatang wanted to come in, you could no longer withstand Reach him. He was out. the attack, which is the appropriado. Yes. Uh, fascinating. Fascinating. Thank you for that. That was. Yes. Man. Uh, could you, uh, Jim Romy, would you mind asking Jim Yuli the same thing? Asking him the same question. Yeah, it's nuts. Jim Muley, can you? Yeah. Yes. You, you. Is he still here? Tama ba yung paliwanag ko? Eh, tama. Ta tama. No, wala. Talaga ganun. Kayo wala. Kayo nga nasasabi ko. Yolok ha. Ay, sorry. Yeah, because you can, ano. 
so that I can explain properly. Ha? Tagalogin ko English ini. No, no, please do. Sure. Okay. Yes, okay. Because, you know, it's a, you know, you know, si Bukano yun, Tagalog. Si Tatang, hindi ko instructor. Never in my life. But he is my, is like a godfather. My yes. idol. Because Tatang never, you really come, and then you follow me. No, no, no. I watch every time. So, per and him, Rumi Makapagal, and him, Tony Gigo, and him, or any him. Then I'm there looking like that. Then after that, I call my brother, Pedrick, come, you strike. It is strike. Ba, 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 ba. So it's, it's like this the loop are all, the duplicate, all is there. So that's why, how? It's like, uh, you know, you know that the, 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 the snake, the cobra, and the cat fighting. So the cat and the cobra is not your teacher. You imitate the you imitate the you know the what what the cobra look and the, the yeah, yeah absolutely what the, I know what a great analogy yeah 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 it means your teacher is a cobra and that's not the, the cat no that's why it's that because in, in front of that tongue teaching you in front of that tongue that tongue teach me no 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 you cannot do. You cannot know. Maybe you finish your eyes. The finish is your tatang. No, no. The control of tatang is oh, wow. Anybody that in front of tatang, tang, you teach me. No, no. Mostly that's why usually from Rumi, me, and Tony Jigos because we can control tatang. Tatang cannot control. Tatang can. That's why you cannot learn properly because you're doubt. That's why what I do, I'm in distance. I'm in distance. Tony, come. You strike Tatang. Then I listen. So Tatang is not my teacher. I observing him. Correct. Never, never, even in picture, Tatang teach me, no. I have one time, Tatang with me and sparring with me. Tatang. So Tatang is putting Lutang and me, I reverse like that. Because Tata is bad, I will like that. So that, so that I cannot... Because Tata is blown down, me it's like this. Bang! So that is what I see. So that is... That's like that. So that is difficult. That's why... Actually... <laughs> different. Exactly the... Rumi... Bloody Rumi, Jim Rumi and me is different field of understanding, of learning Tata. Different. Because Rumi intended this... Making the book, the archive, how to do you know, it. For me, it's always fight. No need to. I, I have no. I have no intention to make a book because I intention is to to, you know, compete, 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 compete. Mm. Like now, when it comes disarming, any kind of strike, I disarm. Wow, wow, wow. When it comes to disarming, disarming. We talk about, but I don't say that disarming is good because. Disarming is in a proper time, in a proper situation, in a proper distance. Do not, I, I disarm you anytime. No, 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 no. Impossible. That there is a proper time to how to disarm. <laughs> that is only, <laughs> not a different thing. The only is, the only is basic. The distancing is very important. Like uh, speaking of Dublin Carrera, my understanding of Dublin Carrera. Because the Euro Dublin Carrera is uh, like this, for example, footwork, lotang, and then fishing, right. And then going then that, flanking, is what you yes, told me, right? Yes. Then you're flanking. Yes. yes, and then this is the left already. So footwork the left, lotang the right, fishing to the left. So then pass. So that's why the, the you know, is makinilla. The footwork is like a but slowly it's one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now, one, two, three, one, two, three, two, three. So that's right. Pa, 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 pa. So that the audience cannot cut Ray, GM Ray Flores is doing it today with the sayings. Uh, just to explain something. Makinilia in Tagalog means a typewriter. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Those old manual typewriters. And... The secretaries use the type like that, and that is why he uses the term makinilla to mean very, very fast. Okay. 
Yes, and I remember you, you uh, thinking on that champ, um, you know, on the deep leg shots, like the back hang and, and go to the left. Yes. Um, okay. For example, for example, like this, this is very important. That is a method store for me. Huh? The first is lutang. Okay, lutang. Where your lutang? Without the stick. And then after that, the second is lutang together with the bagsak. But actually, bagsak is not like this bagsak. It's a diagonal. Inside view, it's like vertical. But actually, that is diagonal. From Purhan, going to Bakhan. So from Purhan, going to Bakhan. From Bakhan, going to. So it means like that. It's diagonal. So a scala? In the side view, yes. Yeah, a scala is X. So from here, the bagsak is from here, Purhan, going to down. It becomes a Bakhan already. Oh, now mm -hmm. from backhand going to down, it's a poor hand already. So this is X. Now inside view, it's like that, very vertical loco. But actually loco. You can see my hand. Bagsak. Where is my hand? It's here. Then bagsak. Lock. <laughs> here. Lock. Pa, 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 pa. Inside view, it's like that. But in front of you like that, uh, so you cannot because the 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 baston is a sabit takabay la laglag yan kung igagan yung laglag so it means that's why so is makadikit talaga ako kaya ako makakadikit dahil idadaya gudal ko kasi kung igagan nung ko hindi ko makadikit dahil madistansya so idikit ko para magdaan dito sh parang ito Yuli Yuli is saying that the reason he can get in close is because his strikes are diagonal. As opposed to if he were to come in one. vertically, okay. downwards, then he cannot come in close. Which uh, is logical. Sasabit yun, sasabit. Yes. Sasabit. Uh, and you can disarm yourself. Yes, correct. Just like that. But inside view, always is bagsak, but actually no. Ah, it looks no? like, it looks like a downward cut. Oh, so if you look depending on if you're in front of uh, or depending on oh. what you're, you're seeing. Oh, look at this. This is forehand. Bagsak, bang. This is backhand. Now, oh, look. Oh, you cannot see my hand. The bag, bag, bag. So it means backhand and forehand. Mm. Backhand and forehand. But that is X, look. Oh. So X. Not, not like this, because Maybe that's why the other is a long range largo. For me, what is the long range, medium, medium range? The starting oh, is a medium. The starting is a medium range. This starting is medium here. range. Then after that, what is a long range, medium range, and close range? It's like a boxing. Jab is set, appear and cross, and swing and hook. It means. Jab and straight is long range. Stretch. Upper and cross, that is medium range. Swing and hook, that is close range. The same. All boxing is like that. For me, largo mano, medio corto, and medio and corto is the same in the matter of fighting. It's there already. It's there already. There is no uh, long range or long range. No, no, no. Because I encounter for how many times since the beginning of that. You are largo mano. Oh. You are uh, Cortumano, medio corto, okay. In the field of fighting, for me, it's easy because if you want close quarter, I can. Medium, I can. Long range, I can. That's why I have a cloud nine. What is cloud nine? It's a candy. Cloud is the sky. Cloud and it's flying kill. You know, wow, that's why. You know, the Ryan, but be careful if you are in uh, on that. What is the defense of the cloud nine? That's why until now, cloud nine. Cloud nine. Cloud that is your little. Because that is part of flying kick. Cloud nine. Jumping, it means diving. Fast diving. It's like flying kick, actually. But it's very dangerous. If you do that, the diving strike, be sure you are good enough. Because that's very dangerous. Like flying kick. Flying kick is dangerous. But if you counter that, <laughs> Thank you for me. Even me. Imagine, huh? Anyone to fly me. If I only I fly like my son. Okay, my son, Mansul, I fly. You don't like. But any Janchan, any 
because it's very hard to you know to to counter the flying. But for me, it's easy because I have three distance. So exactly. Because the, I excuse like, me, Yol. So I Yol, magpaliwanag lang ko sa kanila. Okay, paliwanag mo para okay. maano. Ma uh, ma the metaphors used by UD are local. Cloud9 is a candy here. Cloud9 over there might mean heaven or something. Yeah, yeah. That's okay. exactly what it is over here. Yeah. Exactly. That's why uh, Yuli has created names and metaphors to be able to enter the consciousness of his student. And since most of his students are local, he uses the local dialect. Oh, that makes sense, right? They're local, they have very okay. Westerners. So a foreigner, an American listening to him, will get confused. <laughs> will create different images in the mind. Yeah, they're right. I think it's fantastic. I mean, okay. screw the foreigner. They're what they mean. <laughs> what, um, hey, GM Romy, I, um, what GM um, you were talking about. That, that is actually diving, diving strike or flying kill, flying strike, like that. I think like this is what Elric was asking about. Um, Ju um, Maestro Ray was saying Jim Yuli is explaining the, the DOV, uh, IV of OVT concepts. So I guess that's what Elric was asking. Yeah, it's um, getting blurred. GM it's Ray. noisy and it's... You don't see the comment? Uh, no, no. Could you just read it to me? Sure. So well, GM Ray my screen Toro was That's saying, GM Yuli is explaining the IVOUG concept. It was the question that um, Elric would ask before, but we, did, but we weren't sure what he was asking about. Maestro Ray was just saying okay. that you just explained it. If I get it right, uh, Raymond Floro has commented that Yuli is explaining the IOUBG. Correct. Okay. Correct. These are symbols of letter from letter of the Escala. To show the movement of the blade. More on the oh, box, the, 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 uh, the box on the scholar. Yes, okay. And uh, yes, th these are uh, specific, uh, practically single movement techniques. Some of them are two bit techniques. Some of them are a bit and a half techniques. And they're used in close-in work. Okay. When your left hand is able to touch the shoulder of your opponent, very visual and very dangerous technique. You need to be suited up or you use a uh, pull noodle. Pull. All right, all right. Okay, I want to go into this next question. Um, far before we get to um, UG's question on far as the creating chaos curriculum, far as defensive movement like Brainston, Labrete, Cusada, far as defensive movement, what were the early defensive movements? I mean, what was there? In other words, was it Cusada? Was it Barrette? Was it Apollo? Was it um, you know, I mean, what, what was there as far as, like, the absolute defensive movement for play contact with me? Uh, it's if... Like, my main thing is, was Cusadas in the very beginning? In uh, a question that is being asked, from a point of view that is very far removed from the swordsmanship of industry. As far as Tatang was concerned, all movements were offensive. 
all movements were designed to cut down the opponent. There were no real oh, thank you. defensive techniques. If you touch swords, it was an attack on the sword so that you exposed your opponent for the second killing blow. So it's a two-bit technique. Most of the techniques of Tatang were single bits, followed mm -hmm. by another and another and another. Okay. What we have is the Western concept of a logical thinking. If my technique cannot work this way, then I'll use another technique and I'll I'll do this and then I'll move down to where to, to this. There is a chart actually, and it has I think three or four branches in Western fencing. It is not the same for Tatang. Mm. His movement was always to attack. You attack the attack, Yuli, di ba? You attack the defense. You attack the counter. Yes, what is the best defense, Tatang said? The best defense is to attack. Exactly. Wow. Thank you, Mr. Best defense, what is the best defense tang? Tatang said. The best, I tell you, Yuli, the best defense is to attack. It means to attack by means of Inganyo because you are the first to initiate. If you react, I counter you up. Finish the fire. That's why so I did that. That is Inganyo because the, the best defense is to attack. So attack first, but the attack is you ignore you. I attack you. Did if you are back, finish. That is a bait for Inganyo. Because I can't understand before. Why the beast? What is the beast defense thing? The beast defense, he said, is to attack. <laughs> exactly, so. Exactly. You see that? Yes. Exactly, so. But uh, the concept of self defense puts people into my mental mode of wanting to parry or wanting to block. Okay, but there is no such thing in Illustrissimo. But this is why I'm bringing this up, GM Romy, and I totally agree with you. I am totally with you. Totally, absolutely 100%. But what I'm seeing is there seems to be a lot of these defensive movements, and I'm guessing that they weren't there in the beginning, and maybe they were added for the Westerners to succeed. Ah. Uh they may have been added by a Western-oriented mind, not necessarily Westerners, even Filipinos. With the Western okay. mindset, that was yes. eloquently put. My gosh, that's going to go on one of the famous sayings that have come from FMA discussion from GM Romy, that Western mindset. Wow. Yes. That was good. <laughs> so so in other words i and you know you know how you think things but you think but you don't know for sure so you have to get people on there that know and i always had this feeling that a lot of these defensive movements were not there in the beginning there's no way when you're seeing him just going direct and finding the open like why why was he making clanging and weapon contact so what happened where i mean like you said a western mind <coughs> Kind of put them in there. We don't need to identify, but I just that that's enough that definitely suffices and satisfies my query, uh, which I thought all along. Um, wow, um, how interesting! So, do you think, with that being asked, and this is for both of you, and I just got uh, GM Yuli muted just because of the he was having some uh, there were some backdrops noise coming from him that affected us, but. Do you think, um, again, what I was going to ask you, as far as that is, I mean, where does KI go from here? I mean, what is it? I mean, do folks need to seek out elders like you and Yuli to get the true essence, what it was? Or, I mean, it's kind of a tricky, tricky ground, you know? Uh, this may be harsh words, so I will try to moderate. 
uh, the impact. It is at present largely misunderstood. And it will continue to be misunderstood and be misinterpreted towards the trend of other types of swordsmanship. Western. Ting, 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 ting. Like in the movies with Errol Flynn, etc., etc. Okay. It is actually more like genuine kendo. Violent. Kendo. Bang! 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 Finished. Bang, bang, bang. Finished. But there is no showbiz in that. There certainly is, there is not. No eye candy for that. Like GM Yuli mentioned, a lot of it for the demos. Uh, GM, you know what I mean? Ooh, look at that. They really like this. Hey, let's put it in the curriculum now. You know what I mean? Um, you know, how many times that that's probably happened among us? GM Yuli, same question to you. Uh, like, um, AI in the future, what's, uh, is it in jeopardy? Uh, what's going on? What is that for the future of us? Right? For me, my understanding, I, now I was continue to sit again or to compete. Until now, I am starting, on you know, the last two years, I starting to, to, I don't know, to teach the, what is I understand Tatang. Because at 1991, that is the starting of Illusiosimo of Chubi. You know, the, you, know you know this, that there are many uh, unnecessary moves because of the younger generation, right? For example, uh, let me say, only a only, uh, sequence only. Only a sequence, okay? Huh? Yeah. Because, uh, this is, uh, okay. For example, this one. Okay. Okay, for example, this one. Look. One and two. All martial arts, all is is in 1990s. I create some for that uh, to ignore the art of that time. It's like, wow, good. But the real, 360 degrees. 360 degrees times two because 180 is a bit. And it's from me, 180. And this is the second. So, that's why this firing. Even I close my eyes, I can hit my phone. Because the distance, the five thing, the just thing, I know. That's why I have okay. some. <laughs> so because I'm not serious, actually I'm very uh, confident. Uh, I you know this one. You see that? You only well, I'm kinko, kinko. No, never mind. Because I hit my opponent. <laughs> okay, let me explain that. Yeah. Oh, palibarat kulang. I used to tell Yuli, Yuli, no kenkoy. 
okay? And Ken Koy was a local cartoon character. Yes. Uh, in our local comics. And he was always making jokes and antics. So, because Yuli is very humorous. Because that is his teaching method. To be so humorous, to open the mind of his student, to accept the techniques or the ideas that he is trying to give to the student. He also creates different terms and words. Which for thinks, association? Okay. Yes. Okay. Which he thinks will click with the mind of the person yeah, that he is presently harder. facing. But during demonstrations where more serious people were around just wanting to watch, I would tell him, Yuli, no Ken Koi, ha? no Ken Koi. And he would say, yes, yes, no Ken Koi. And then he would proceed and do a formal, uh, serious presentation. Okay. Without the antics, without the jokes, like uh, his uh, joke of uh, the Islander, the Lowlander, and the Highlander. Lowlander, Islander. <laughs> actually, <laughs> actually, GM GM Yuli, we have a request um, to see your demo again. Can you, can you do it again? Yes, the doublete. The doublete. Yes, yes. In the Escrimadors until now, is there is a doublete. Can you show it again? Oh, it's like that. Okay. Okay. One there's after you just do it slower. No, no. Okay. Okay, I use this big gear. Okay. Now, look. Look at the proper design thing. My, my weight is at the back. And this is the proper design. Look, this is proper. Look. Without this one, my weight is in front. With this, my weight is at the back. Without this one, my weight is at back. This is not with elastic. So look. Now you hit me. Exactly. Here, this is focus me. Okay. Now again, you hit me. That's been done you already. Again, hit me. That's it, hit me. Now, this is 45 degrees. Now hit me. This is 100 degrees. Now again, hit me. Return line. Mm -hmm. Come on, move. One, two, finish. And then I control. You gotta move. So that you move it. So this one, look at this agra, this agra is this one. Do not move like that. No, exactly here so that you can control. You can control, no. So you can punch, you can if you can aim or you. And then you can and you can squat. The mechanic is only important. Like that, no, like this one. Look, foot work, no tank position. Left foot work, no tank position. Now move. Now foot work, no tank move. Foot work, no tank move. So, that is a double carrera. Double carrera is which you put this one and then no tank is well. Double carrera. So, again. This one, what is this? Are you sure? Exactly, no. No. No, again. Come on. I have my eye. I monitor him. I control. Now, what is this? This was called the So that's why it's like that. So that is not good to look, but in real fight is good. But how to present in demonstration not good. <laughs> okay. So you went from any step to double career going to the left. Yeah. 
That's why I'm inspiring very easy to hit for me. I'm very relaxed, over confidence all the time until now, even I'm in operation. Erlik, you know, Erlik, if you are there, thank you very much. You can, <laughs> you can experience me. Last, yes. No, this it's like a magic, but actually that's magic because this I I learn how tatang he moves the distancing. That's I cannot know. I'm not interested in uh, terminology because the important to me is the action of tatang. How to yeah. tatang is not teacher, but he is. I don't like to in front of Satan, no. I'm kidding, but he is my person of my life in my art. Well, thank you, Dan. That was excellent. I'm going to question for you. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to just be interviewing the reverb and all that noise. Um, so, Jim Romy, um, well, I guess. As far as like what you've gone from Ministry of Samoa, what resonates with you as far as the measure and all that, you obviously have heavily incorporated this, like I've seen your videos and your instruction. Is that is, is that fair for is that a fair assessment as far as you in regards to what you've taken from it and what you stress with your students? Let me put it this way. <clears throat> all of this time since Tatang was spent with only one objective, a preservation of his art, a very accurate preservation, no misinterpretation, no personal ideas infused into the concepts and principles of what Tatang taught. He did teach principles. Mm. Okay. And by sparring, which we did a lot of, Yuli and myself and Tony with Tatang, we learned the applications of the techniques that we saw over and over again. Now, Tony and I, over a four year period, cataloged the techniques of Tatang. Okay. These were handwritten with Tony's signature. One copy, the original, went to Raymond Floro. Because right. Raymond Floro was here during those years. And he was a very intense student. The other copy went to Tony, but it got lost somewhere in the pockets of his uh, pants. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> Another one went to a friend from England. OK. Another one went to Pete Reyes, Xerox copies. OK. And another one, the second or third copy, went to Tufer. But he dismissed it because he relied on his videos. He relied just on, oh, he just, oh, okay. Yes. Uh, and that's the extent of it. So if people are asking who created the list, Tony and I did. The list, Tata okay. So when you say the list, the list of like far as the techniques or the kind yes, of curriculum? The list of techniques. Okay. 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 Uh, and Tatang was there. So I'm guessing that list is not the same today. No longer. Uh, there have been uh, additions. I'm sure many additions, additions. than deletions. I'm sure many additions. Uh, <laughs> there have been uh, renames. Okay. Okay. And there have been. Uh, Again, a misinterpretation or reinterpretation with a different name. 
Okay. Mm. Uh, the best test of it is to check the movement. Does it follow the principles of movement that Tatang showed? Here's a, my question for you, and I totally agree with you, my GM Romy. What if you don't have the privy or you don't have access to the way he moved before? What would be your reference or compare and contrast for like a new student or somebody? Well, if Brandon will share. Which he has with me, and I've seen video. earlier his move. It's totally different from what you're seeing on YouTube in his late, you know, in his mid 90s and et cetera. Yes, uh, the videos were start were taken starting about May or June of '86. That's when uh, that's when he started. Uh, Topher started filming. Uh, that's when Topher returned from Australia and started filming. Okay, and started filming with a Super Eight camera. Yeah. Okay one of the very rare and few yeah uh, that's right here i, I heard it was a rare commodity for those times to be having that. oh yes yeah. very very yeah that, okay. everybody says that that was definitely but here's my next another question for you and this is all fascinating thank you um so in 86 he's got the camera but is it safe to say from 76 to 86 there's a gap there as far as footage uh I suspect there would be gaps because he was not always there. Or nobody was taking footage. Yes. That's 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 the thing, man. Like what? 76 to 86. In other words, I totally agree with you. You know, see, is he moving like you just mentioned before, like Illustrisimo moved and all that. However, though, I think what's happening, and I could be wrong, I'm just you know making a generalization here, if you will, based on and drunk conclusion based on what I'm seeing and hearing is that these new folks coming in, if they don't have privy to that, they're just going to follow the assembly line of what everybody else is doing, right? Tough luck for them. Yeah, yeah. I mean, essentially, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, wow, this is just, I'm just so glad I got you two on here. I knew this was going to be like unreal, just some gems of information. So, okay. My next question for, uh, and we'll get GM Yuli here because I want him. Is it safe to say, as far as the old movement and all that, either you, I mean, oh, wait, I got the, you know, um, is it safe to say you would have to seek yourself out or GM Yuli if you really want to know? I mean, or again, which I, I've been fortunate enough to see a lot of the footage from Brandon. But Brandon covers 86 up, right? And so, but for other, so, so from 86 up or below, I mean, really, they should be seeking you two guys out, right? I mean, as far as if you mm. want to get some. I'm not sure that there was any footage of Tatang. Before the 86. No, I, don't, I'm, I haven't yes. heard. I mean, no, GMU no. is saying no. 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 During it is that is the, the middle of it is during the middle of it is exactly during, during May or April like that but during summer it is the the footage is there, starting about it, May or yes summer but before that no footage maybe there is a still camera but black and white. <laughs> Uh, no. Man, that, is just, that is too bad. For example, like this. The Australia, there are two kinds of Australia. Look at this, uh, please. Sure. Okay. Yeah, uh, we're going to get you. Uh, All right, we may have to. What's up, this is Australia? No. This is the command. This is Australia, you move this way. This way, no. Keeping into the this one. Okay. Now. Okay, now. Oh, this is Australia. This is here. Okay, now. And then after this, you can move this one. Look. Here. Behind. And it's controlling. 
not like that, no. It's controlling. After this controlling, you can remove this thing like that. So at least. Problem here, salto and then saltada. So that's all. Now, and we have also that, okay. We have this one. No, no like that, oh. No, no parrying like this, no. It's like that, oh. no, no, no. That's the same also. So, to catch up the, with this one. No, maybe more, more, no, no. So it means, you are here, come on. You are here, okay. Now, come on, move. So this is Kenya. Now, this is Australia, and this is vertical to the center. Laro ng cinto. From here, and this is vertical. Okay, from the center. But it's very dangerous. But I use this one. I use this one, but like that. <laughs> Instead of hooking, hooking, but striking the head. So that, now, so Australia again. From here, no. How about you stay like here? If you stay here, that's bigger. I don't know. No. Or you can move this one. It's still here also. No. Oh, Rumpida, still here, vertical. Now, how about, how about what is this? And what is this? So I like this one, then this. If I move this one, I hang it, strike it. Then zero. Now again, strike it. Slowly strike it. Again, come on. Slowly. So, this is the part of the Syria. From here, the Syria, black hand. So, this is Syria. Come on, strike it. This is Syria. This is Syria and this is Pluma. So, this is Syria, Pluma and the plate. Again. Okay. This is Syria. No. Australia and what is this? Cadinarial. No, so Australia and Cadina Cadinarial. Cadinarial, one, two, one, and three, three, three. So there are two, two kinds of Cadinarial. Look at this from here. This is Cadinarial. But the full Cadinarial is here. No, oh. So you cannot move. Come on. So it's very. Book list is very dangerous. Only me can I take because of my distant thing. Move, go in footwork. No matter what this is, it's controlling this one because of the footwork. Not controlling your hand, it's controlling your footwork. Not this one, no. It's this one, this one, too. the footwork. So that's all. So, okay, sorry, that. Okay. Okay, go ahead. That's excellent, thank you. Okay, let's, uh, so, um, Jim Romy, Ray Flora. Yes. Um, Ray Flora, this is from Ray Flora. Uh, Mon Romy, Guru Dean is yes. asking, who is the best people to learn the early Ilishisimo system today? Who would be the best people to seek out if you wanted early KI before it got added on or what have you okay uh so far today yuli is the only one i know who is still actively teaching myself i am too busy with my consultancy to pay attention to new students i simply refine my old students. Your existing students. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, however, I was invited to Australia by Raymond Floro in uh, 2017. Yes. And those videos. when I conducted the seminar, uh, which was filmed, I was able to present in a very... Well, uh, I am embarrassed to say this in a very uh, academic manner. 
the basic movement of the techniques of tatang okay okay and uh, there's enough material in the book uh, about tatang uh, which can help someone watching the video understand the movements and i just put it in the comment section your course is there so yes okay uh, if only henry didn't get a stroke last year he would still be a good uh instructor he would be so he would be a good another source then okay okay yes okay except that his students have a tendency to reinterpret from a modern point of view mm. but henry espera was one of the few people of our generation who could move almost exactly like Tatang and who initially had memorized every single technique that Tatang showed. Wow. And I tell you, there's some that don't, I don't want to say throw under the bus, but there's some that just say he just showed up on the GP and kind of would watch but didn't really participate and um, and all that. But then there's others like yourself that he was there, got the information, took to it well, had very long, tall, very similar to physique. Yes, to similar bit. Man, oh man, what people will, some people will say, I huh, distort the truth. This is why you got to do interviews <laughs> like this, to bring out the truth. Um, so back to this list, which since Henry was brought up, um, folks can see it. So obviously he was omitted um, and shouldn't have been. Um, I'm seeing, um, you know, like Duran Sordo, Arnold Narzo, Miguel Zaberi. I thought they should have been there. You know what I mean? And I guess in my opinion. Um, GM Romy, um, far as the first generation and the younger generation, do you have more people in the first generation? Uh, perhaps in this list. I, I I read it, I commented on it, but I cannot totally commit it to memory. Yeah, that's the fine. Best... I'm just thinking, like, the reason why I bring it up, it would just be really neat. I mean, you know, again, I'm not advocating there should be a list. Um, I just thought it was a something brought up there was some definitely some, some discrepancy kind of you know circulating yes. around it in the you know in the conversation on facebook and the replies and all that i again okay. i don't know whether there should be or shouldn't be one i guess i was bothered by the omissions to be honest um i just thought there were some guys yes. there that clearly should have yes. been there and mm. that's why i hate lists something well, always well, needs to get left out you know if i may uh cut in sure uh, many of the students of Tofer are in that omitted list. Okay, because the idea of people was if we mention Tofer, uh, by inference, his students, because there was a time when Tofer had focused training purely on Eskrima. And Tony was going to his house in the suburbs to teach two first students. Once mm -hmm. in a while, in a blue moon, Tatang would be invited and he would present uh, some movements, sit down and watch the students of two fair uh, play. Okay. We even have some videos of Tatang playing with the young Brandon, or I've Bruce. seen it. Yeah, Bruce. Yes, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, uh, and uh, that's it. Uh, very, very few times. And once in a while, some of them, not everyone, would go to the gym of uh, Alex Ko, the top floor of his uh, building, and uh, they would watch Tatang make a few movements and talk 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 because by that time tatang was no longer as spry as 
when he was uh, younger at 86 mm. to maybe 90. Beyond 90, Tatang started to slow down. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. Mm -mm. So, yes, a lot of omissions. Yeah, but and I mean, like, again, to, um, to do justice, because people seem to put so much value on list. claiming that they have learned under Tatang, which I question. Yeah, yeah. Because it was difficult to learn under Tatang. Wow. It took Tony and I four years. Yeah. It took really Yuli to... almost four years. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No, I, Before I he, okay, mm. because he met Tatang earlier. Before he could teach the techniques to our players. But yeah. Although I have to say, until 15 years ago, Tony, uh, Yuli taught practically the whole Tatang system to his seminars abroad. Chile, Turkey, uh, Ireland, uh, Germany, uh, Morocco, several times, etc., etc. Complete set. The complete set. And then Yuli got back, or re no, no, rather. And then Yuli refocused mm. on his love, which is training people for sports for the competition right yeah. yes and i wanted to comment earlier one of the movements that yuli evolved is actually a foil saber technique which is used in the olympics but he evolved that on his own mm. which means that there is a set of simple effective techniques with the sword okay that we rediscover if we are focused enough we will rediscover it if the focus is on sport and the foil in the olympics is for sport yeah. okay then and you notice his stick is also thin and narrow correct okay it might only be twice the weight of a saber foil then the same movement will evolve mm. Yeah. The <laughs> <They're> famous. <Huh? laughs> the, yes. Mm. This is uh, actually this is actually a, a saber fighting movement, but purely tightened it for sports for speed. Yeah, I know. Because you're not out to kill the other guy. All you're out is to make us. A touch. Right, right. For for the tournament. Correct. Right. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's absolutely. Um, I gotta just answer one comment here, Steve. Uh, he didn't. Uh, um, we yeah, we agreed, uh, Steve, that he was omitted from the list. If that's what you're talking about, uh, I mean, absolutely, he should have been on it. Uh, no argument. Uh, Arnold knows I definitely should have been on that list. Um, but uh, Jim Uli. So again, uh, you're saying. So folks are saying they should seek you out if they want the old KI. Old KI. No, old KI. Or old. <laughs> Not old Tatang, not old guy, because there is no KI before. Jeremy. All right, we'll just, we'll just say uh, Tatang. Yeah. I, oh, I create two KI. First, I create Kali Ilusisimo. Tony didn't like that because Kali is, you know, there is an issue of Kali. Yes. And then I change Kalis, becomes a Weeby Blade or Chris. So there are two kind of KI. Kali Ilusisimo and Kalis Ilusisimo. And then put repetition original. Or Ilusisimo repetition original. It means I wrote. Repetition original put. But before it's Kali Ilusisimo. Then the next, after two years, Kalis Ilusisimo for me. Then Tony put the, when I, if I'm not wrong, repetition original. Mm. So original is came from Ilusisimo Reino, the repetition style or multiple attack. 
But this is not the point of original. It is no point of original. No. We are all original. We are all original. Like the sun. This is all original sun of one knuckle. One bird knuckle is same. Original. This is original. Just like that. We are all around, but different. Different, you know, different. That's why uh, Jim, uh, Rumi Makapala, different, you know. We are all masters, but different, you know. Like, very mm -hmm. hard to so, Okay. Awesome. Uh, all right. Uh, we got a question here, Jim Yuli. The question is. If you, um, if, really, if you take your headphones off, so that, there's, a, there's kind of a background noise. Here. Okay. So I know when you took them off earlier. Really, really uh, okay, okay. So during the uh, before there is no key, I actually no no name no name. During no, no, time. no, no, no. You're I'm saying, can you take the other headphone off? I got another question for you. Different question. Okay, okay, okay. Tanggalin daw headphone. Tantangon mo ng headphone. Kano mo? Oh, okay. Ang isa pa, uh, sa, sa phone. Hindi, sa phone. Ang, ang kable sa phone ba? Oh. Okay. Perfect. Yul, sa phone, tantangon mo. See if you can unplug them. Can, yeah, unplug it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I just remember before we went live without them, he couldn't hear. Okay. Can you hear us still? Okay. 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 Oh, perfect. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Right, perfect. Okay. You don't need them anymore. Perfect. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, sorry. Oh, no, no, no. I'm all ready. I don't know what to do. So, okay, okay, continue. Sorry, sorry, so, sorry, sorry. Master Yuli, I got a question. And the question is from Richard Pacman. My man, Richard. Um, were you open to all tournaments or specific tournaments with certain rules? Yes. You were open? I open. To all? Okay. Okay. Yes, of it all. Look, uh, my experience. We cough and uh, Adonis Philippines just pick up now. Okay. And the ITMAP, the modern Adonis, there are three kinds of. And before last is uh, Narapil, we cough, ITMAP, and Adonis Philippines that is pick up now. Okay. So there are four, four tournaments. You know, you know this exo, is that correct? Yes. Any, yes. any, any competition, yes. any roles. Because okay. there is a criteria. I read the rules. I want to read the so I adapt. Even I when adapt. the competitions were still in Cebu, yes, uh, Yuli was already joining even before me. Yes. Okay. Even and before. then uh, when Narafil converted to RP, or Arnis Philippines. Okay. And there was a parallel organization called WECAF. Okay. And eventually the WECAF uh, became PECAF. Right, PECAF, yeah. Okay. Yuli was always there. Yes. So it was all sports competitions with rules uh, for matching, for buys, etc., etc. For judging. Referee and judging. Yes. All right. So okay, that was, his, that was his question. So, all right. So, this is a question for both of you. Um, this is from Jacob. And Jacob's question is regarding, I'm going to pull it up right now. Um, and his question is. Um, let me see here. And it's regarding the use of the barong. But okay, here we go. All right, so this is for both of you. Uh, can you ask both can you gentlemen? Use the barong? Yes, can you, part. can you ask both gentlemen how Jim Simo moved with his barong blade? 
did he do reverse grip and did he move it like how they tongue soon the two songs Romy, Dan Mashi Romy, Dan Mashi Romy, you know that. It's defending. Yes. <laughs> you know, Romy, you know that. Defending, if you're sitting down, this cupboard, sprinting to your foot like that. We practice that in Tatang. There's no specific how to draw the barong. All is situational. No oh, traditional, so no reverse. Okay, okay. Um, all right. That was his question. Um, okay. All right. Next. Uh, what do you guys, okay. What would you guys advise to the younger generation that want to train in KI, whether, you know, regardless of where they're at in their FMA journey, um, but they want to seek out KI? Would you guys any? What would you advise them of, if if anything? What would you advise them of, Jim Romy? Don't do it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Ah, <laughs> uh, watch the Tatang videos. Whether you know the names doesn't matter. Okay. You can see the situation that is being simulated, you can see Tatang's movements in order to devastate the opponent. Okay? Just copy that. If you know how to copy, if you know how to see, you must learn how to see. You must learn how to understand. That is the greater education that must be made. You must learn to learn. Yeah. If you excellent don't point. learn how to learn, you cannot learn. I mean, that's the point. You have to learn to see. Like, what do you <laughs> learn to see? What you should be looking for? I mean, that's a good. That's like it's basic. Sounds basic, but look at the importance of that, right? I mean, that's. You know, Australia has an educational system. Mm. It is called uh, national competency system. National competency system. It starts from learning how to hold a screwdriver and turning a screw to <laughs> tighten or to unloosen. And it goes all the way to NC12, uh, wow. which guides you how to do your doctorate in any field. Yeah, yes. Australia donated this to the Philippines to help the development of our workers. Wow, that's something. Okay. Yes. It is available. It is downloadable. And one of the starting points is learning how to learn. Okay. And if you are serious in learning, you want to learn how to learn. Yeah. Because the brain has many domains of intelligence. And you have to choose which domain of intelligence you will use for a particular skill. Mm. So that's my point of view from uh, transmission. Okay. Point of view. I think it's great. Yeah. Watch the videos. Learn to see. Learn to you know what what you're observing. You know. No, I think it's I think it's great. Uh, same question for you, Jim Yuli. What would you advise newer generation, folks that want to learn KI or new students? What would you tell them? Same thing, same question for Romy. That's already. One is, uh, you know, how to hold the, it's like this, how to hold the screwdriver. Tatang is, we miss that. Tatang hold is to wait and then clockwise like that, like this lock. And then, no point. No that is different, difficult ball. But it's more air like that, like this one, like my dog. But that no, no point. Why? Because the power is this. That's that. You know, so it's exactly that. Yes. No, 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 like even small, no, no. Even me now, look, oh, flat. You know, because it's very thick. Come here. Uh -oh. Look, what is this? 
between this and this one. Look. Look at this. Pinpoint. See? Mm. This one, no pinpoint. No. Ah. This is only waiting for batting. But this one is creeping. Okay. Like that. Okay. But imagine that, that, that you know, all Elosimo is like that. If you are Elosimo holding like that, it means that is not Tatang. Look at Tatang. Look at Trejino Elosimo. Antonio Elosimo. Full. There is no in. No point. Yeah. Okay. But in paddy stick, you cannot do that. Because paddy stick is, there is, you know, it's malambo. So you need the paddy stick is like that. The tree, like that, in paddy stick. But in real stick, exactly here, like that. Mm. No punyo. That's tatang. That's why turning clockwise, like, like that. Then after that, you play the game, this one. It's relaxed. Not like this. No. Tatang is like this. Always. The way so is meditative like that. Always Tatang yes. talking you is like that. Look. Always like that. And the the leopard is always like this. Look. What is that? Very Tatang always like this. Monitoring like that. This monitoring. Then pack. Look like relax. But the other, because I am Malintawak before, holding like that. Tired. And strong. So Tatang is very relaxed. Relax, relax. That's different. All masters, Tatang is different. You can talk with another masters holding like that, only Tatang. And genuinely. And the other Elusisimo. But not all Elusisimo. Because the other cannot understand. But if so, you do this one, 100%. Yes. Tom, yes. in Canada. But now, I look in Lunita, they are look like that, understand, and they show like that. No, that's different. This is very important for Tatang. Mm -hmm. Like you said, in Australia, you know how to hold the screwdriver and turn it. That is the first basic of Tatang. Very nice, if I'm here. Because the power is here. Good. So that's one. That's one I teach for, for me, for the younger generation now. From the beginning until now, I teach like that. But if you want to add some flavor, I can add. <laughs> we, we cannot finish until 24 Very hours. Very easily. Add more and more. Yes. You like this arm? How many this arm? I can. But um, actually, the real is only one to three. <laughs> mm. Only one to three. That's why so your, your competitors of J is only three strikes. Or two strike only. All my all champion is only one, two, three strike. Mm -hmm. No abanico. There is no abanico. The strike is the legit it's like that. Only. <laughs> so for me in competition. But if you like add some more flavor, we can do that. Even you exo. You can mm -hmm. do so that's how many years until now? We can you, we can more ignore to the people if we want. But if you like the legit art of data, only one, two, three. It means like this. You react, I counter you up. That's all. Yeah. If I finish, if you react, I counter you up. Finish. And so then the what happened? The piece of data is to attack, to defend, or to control. Okay, this is very important, Tatan. What do you want? You depend, you attack, or you control your opponents. Mm -hmm. For me, I like to control my opponents. Because if I know how to control my opponents, very easy to defend and very easy to attack. That's why controlling is very important okay. than to attack mean, and then to defend. So, so it goes back to your bait checkmate. Yes, that's why it's so controlling to control your opponents, not to control your weapon. No, always landing to the body. Me, no, 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 no. I don't like to hit to the how it does. This is <laughs> hitting for the body, even myself. The life is hitting, mm. hitting to the body. 
so that you can uh, you know you know how to it because from now uh, sorry for this uh, there are lots of illusion now they don't like to it's like this look come on bibong this will look like this look, look at this different from our so in our okay. look look oh. Ready, What is this? Why? No. This is like this. No. Hmm. No, it's not like this. No. What is that? No, I know. It's like you're holding this for a boxer. You jab, you step back, and then the guy does his combination five feet away from you with his punches. Why? Ah, uh, Ixo, you have you you you're like like, like that, Ixo. Why? No, that is your no, muscle no. memory. One hundred percent in competition, <laughs> you lose. But this, yeah. that is a yes. muscle memory. Why you no, don't like to landing the, yeah. no the body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? We said, we said. Actually, I was going to explain the reason that Tatang kept his hands loose here on the grip. See, was because he used the weapon hand Correct. to grip and control his opponent. Hmm. He would actually use that weapon hand to grip the weapon hand of his opponent because he would use the hard part of the handle to crush the finger yes, it is of the order. opponent. Okay, that's like that. That's why. It's all right. Come on, Manzo. Come on, lock. Look at that. Lock, lock. We got more. Yeah, we got more. Come on. So you can move this one. Oh, you can move this one. You can move this one. So this one, no. You can move this one, no. Are you moving thousand, baby? Pinch it. What does that? What? What happened? No. Huh? I break your finger. Lock. Mm. Lock off. Shoot it. Shoot it. Oh, and this one also. Lock. 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 Come on, move. You got that. Pop, pop, pop. Also, lock. Look at this. So it's like a sign. <laughs> lock. Come on. Like a pop, 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 that's the only this the only old man of uh, expert in what we call that is uh, a martial artist. No, for me is a stick fighter. Stick fighter. A stick fighter. Stick fighting being a stick fighter. Stick boxing being a stick boxer. That thing like that. Wow. <laughs> Especially the sogo. Until now, I don't know what is sogo. What is sogo? So, you said so, oh, sogo. Why is sogo? Sogo. Why it is sogo? Until now, I can't understand sogo. <laughs> Sogo opinion. is derived from the word jogo, Spanish and Italian terms. Hmm. You mean play, which goes hogo, jogo, hogar, as in playing cards or playing. You got game. playing, right? Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. okay. So, uh, Sogo is the local way of pronouncing jogar. Okay, or hogar, depending which dialect of uh, Europe you're using. Okay. What is that? What does that mean? What is the use of Zogo? Sogo Tatang is Laro. Laro, but with Tatang, Sogo meant the knife hand. Yes, it's like that. <laughs> the alive hand. The knife hand <laughs> went to the neck, went to the eyes, mm. yeah. went to the ribs. Went anywhere, it. anywhere it could. <laughs> yes. He said also, it's Sogo. Logo, still go. <laughs> mm, yes. Yeah. yeah, but you, brought up, you, know, you guys can both speak on this, but you know, GM Yuli, you brought something when you were just demo demonstrating there as far as the range when you back out and you're doing your combination, but you're like the gap of space is like that. And, um, and we've talked about this before and the you know it's the same thing like you wouldn't do that with a boxer you know what i mean 
you know, he steps back and when the mitts are here and he's stepping back and doing punches in the air. I mean, it's just, um, I, I, and again, I, I, I agree with you much to your point. Um, I absolutely can't explain why some do that. And I, it's probably not even my place to explain why they do it. I mean, you know, but definitely it's noticed it. Um, I think there's a range issue there, you know, um, what say you on that, Mom, Romy? Uh, am I off base here? Or? Yes. Uh, I'll give you a tip. Of all of the videos of Tata, there is a first video. And today, I think it is captioned Tata and Tufer sparring. Correct. Correct. Tufer yes. and, and you Tata. Can and you can see how. You can see how. Tufer and Tata. Yes. That okay. is the main. You can see Tang laying his stick on Tufer's forehead, while Tufer is unable to reach Tatang. Mm -hmm. Study the whole frame. Correct. Frame by frame, yeah. the whole video. Look at that. To understand where the feet are placed. Correct. How the body is positioned. Mm -hmm. How the arm is stretched out. Okay, and where the left hand positions itself. It's a lengthy video. I think it's two minutes, three yes. minutes. No, okay. uh, it's done. It's done repeat. two minutes. It's done two minutes. Yes, yes. and they do okay. this repeatedly. It's on YouTube. Okay. I've seen it's on YouTube. Yeah, it's on. Yes, so this is, okay. yes in YouTube. This is like this. This, this is what to go to. That is what to go to. I took a poco smith. This is Tatang. I'm Tatang. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> okay, hit me. Okay, hit me. Go, do it. Put up. If you hit put up, like that. You know why? Oh, so you know how to do it. Come on. Okay, now. Come on. Okay, come on, move. So, sit there. Do not move your legs. So, you are not sitting. Move your legs at the same time. Look. That is that. Look at. Look. Come on. This is a focus me. Now, this is your forehand. Look. Look. Now, the second is move. Come on, move. Mm. Come on, move. Again, third. Come on. Come on. The second move. Come on, the second. Come on, mm -hmm. Good. 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 Now, how about this one? No time. No time without the bagsak. Good, good. Now, back shot. Back shot. Come on. So, <laughs> that is the sick and sick. Now, how about that? Thing? Okay, you back shot me. Let's see if I can see his leg if I lower myself. Back shot me. So, back shot. Back shot. Back shot. No. Simple. Then after that, you play. Yes. You play. That's Tatang. Yes. Look at My son is like Tatang. Mm. Focus me. Come on. Come on. Come on. The yeah. second. You cannot hit already because it's in Ganyu. And then Bagsak. Bagsak. So you don't like to hit anymore the legs because of Bagsak. Now, that's the second. You Bagsak me. I'm Iskanilia. I'm ambushing you. You bagsak me, it's okay. Come on, bagsak. How about this one? Mm. That's all. After that, you play. You play the game. Spar. This is what's called Rumpida Salto Saltada. Look at Rumpida well, Salto Saltada. Sorry, sorry. Rumpida Salto Saltada. Look. Come on. 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 So it's no hospital. <laughs> but now, 
con el ECDA. Why? The muscle memory is there. If you compete 100%, you lose in tournament. <laughs> yes. Because I have so lots of time, how many counter. No. Landing, landing, landing. Tatangsin. The best is to hit. Tactic, yeah. Hit. Like that, no hitting, no, 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 no. During my time, I don't know. During my time, always hitting. Wow, process is there. The nail, wow, always like that. Here's um, here, you know what? I'm gonna have you guys speak on this. Um, so now we back to the how to I, my advice to the younger generation now for the future generation more. It's just a very hard because of the gadget now. Practice, come on, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Come on, hey guys, practice, boys, come on. Wait, 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 wait. Always wait, wait. Where, what is the future now? The younger generation practice because of the gadget. Busy. Yeah, and it's. Uh... I experience, even in my son. My problem also. Come on, come on, practice. Practice, practice. No, I know that already. <laughs> wait, wait. So that's why. For the younger generation, for me, my advice is you learn what you learn. What, 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 what is that, uh, Jim uh, Rumi Makabal? What you learn, you learn, and you learn the art of Tatang. You learn how to learn. Yes, like that. That's why. Not if you, you have to study how to learn. Yes, you study how to learn. Like me. Imagine. For me, you know Iggy. One is Iggy. Jamie Lee, I want to. Okay. You know, you know, Dane, you know this one. How many months is how many years Iggy is sit down and observe me with mm. Jaime Kisana and the other senior. Sit down, Iggy. Then after that, for how many months? Okay. Oh, with Iggy. Come on, Iggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you try to teach this. What you learn to say, you teach. You, you teach these guys, uh, new, the newcomers. Mm. You learn, sit down, observe, don't collapse your eye, and then after that, a few months or few weeks, okay, you teach this one. Because you observe. Not come on, Iggy, you follow me. One. So, no, 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 I don't like that. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't like being a poor yeah. <laughs> student. You watch from head to foot. Yes, That's why all, all my all my students, is the mechanics is very illusissimo. Yeah. They will have to spar. They, they vlog, the leg work is the same. The, all is there, illusissimo. Is that correct, Exo? From Hungary? Yes. Person. That's only yes. in Hungary, that's all. That's only the some session. Not that yes. is not uh, you know. Only yes. eleven meeting. Imagine. Do we have to? It's only like that until now. He opened the gym. It's a limit only. Only limit. Limit uh, strike. So yes, I want to comment on that Hungary thing. Oh sure. Okay. Okay. Hungary, along with Poland and Russia and Turkey is the land of the saber. Of the saber, okay. Yes. And the technique which Yuli taught these Hungarians is a saber technique. And they were learning it as if seeing it for the first time. Okay. And they were doing very well on it. Because some of the old saber techniques were lost and are now only to be found in some of the old Arnis in the Philippines. Mm. Illustrissimo is one of the few, maybe belonging to a handful or even less of schools that retain the old techniques were the straight sword 
the saber, and the small sword. And the small sword, okay. Yes. Wow. So, uh, many people from Europe used to go to Cebu because they knew that Cebu is the center of Arnis. Mm. But they could not find any movements anymore that resembled anything that they could rem remember of the sword systems that exist in their manuals or in their books. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay? Uh, except a very few. Mm. And they thought they knew and they went on their own. Nada. Jeez. Um, I think that's the only in Tatang. Few. <laughs> a few. Uh -oh. but, not, that, but not all in Lucisimo. I know that. <laughs> not all. <laughs> because. So, uh, um, this has been great. I, I, we've gone, I don't want to keep you, gentlemen. We're over two hours. Um, yes. Okay. Final, final, you guys, this, this was amazing, amazing episode from both of you. I, I can't thank you both enough. But what would you have? Okay. Final thoughts, I guess, um, for the KI community, our future students. I mean, like, you know, let's, uh, you know, Mang Romi, what, I mean, uh, final thoughts. What, you know, what would you like the KI community to hear? Again, please. So final thoughts for the KI community or the FMA community in general. You know, what would you like to share? There is a technical basis for the swordsmanship which came from Europe and transferred to the Philippines. For the Spaniards, it was Italian swordsmanship, which influenced their swordsmanship. Okay, it was Turkic and Hungarian swordsmanship, which influenced their saber. Mm. They brought that here. To understand our Arnis, we must look into the elements of blade fighting. Okay. Because Tatang was a swordsman. Mm. He could use a stick, but when he carried the sword, he was poetry in motion. He was one with the sword. Okay. Now, anyone who wants to understand has Kone. got to know Kone. his Kone. physics. Barung na dalawa, must barung know na. his geometry. Must have a technical mind. And not just swing and swing and swing and try to build up muscles. Mm. Okay. There is a training in Industrissimo where if you strike at the same time, one remains standing, the other one will go down because of the Unpulgada concept. Right. You make his sword fall short by one inch and your sword falls fully on his head. Mm. Okay. Which I see that, really missing. <laughs> well, that's a whole nother subject matter, but yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. That's right. The blade and the stick is different, different mechanics of the body. That's no why need. you listen. I know distance. I know distance. Because he has studied distance or measure. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. No, no, no. Now I will ask all students of the stick or of the sword. Do you know your measure? Do you know what measure it is? Mm. Start with that. Great advice. Same question for you, GM Yuli. Uh, final thoughts for the KI community or FMA community in general. Sorry, again. So final thoughts for the KI community 
or FMA community in general? What I said, that's a, a answer already that for the KI community, especially for the younger generation for the future. To, to learn the art of Tatang, the Lusisimu, or what, of any FMA. I can't tell now because until now I teach continuing now. I continue in, but I cannot tell now because even we can pause to, okay, guys, come on, children, come on this one. If you don't like specific, restricted. Uh, what can you say? Okay, game roomy. Uh, for your employment, for your paper, you can, uh, what, 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 that, that, how to answer that in a proper answer the question. Uh, For me, it's, it's the present. It's the present mindset and point of view of people. What is their intent? What do they want out of it? That's a good point. What they want? What do they want to get out of it? Right. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Right. Um, Wow, wow. So, okay, so for okay, fun, it's like me. Um, if you want the blade, blade, uh, learning to blade combat on the stick or the padded, so this, this is a different situation. Mm. Different situation because what, what the JM Rumi Makapal said, the blade is very sharp, no need power from the ground, right? Yeah, like you're punching, right? Speed yeah. and accuracy, for example. This one, look. This is the blade. My. Okay. Look at this. Oh, come, come on. Come on. So, mama, ya, ano natin kung ano yung message natin sa mga KI community. Ano yan kung masusunod natin yung gusto natin. Okay. For example, this is a blade. No need to see some of Look. Is that thing of the barong? This is that from here. Look. This is, for my understanding, this is the blade, bullet blade. And this is a walking stick, exactly a walking stick. And aside from this, this is an arm. This is a stick, clean cut, walking. How to defend this one? This is not intended to hit anybody, but we can use this. This is not intended to kill a person, but this is a toy. Being a farmer, I'm a legit farmer, including this one. Wrapping in my, like that, because of my perspiration, this is a farmer, like this. So this one, the drill is here, we are. And this is the drill. And this one, the blade is different, this one here. Now, this is the introduction. Like that, now what is this? So for me, this is that the exact is here. Now come on, draw. With it. Are you sure? And look at this. Not this one, this like that. Because the ribs is here. Look, if you move this one, you cannot finish it because the ribs is this one. So it's here, exactly. Not like that. This one, look. From here, look. Okay, this is right. But look at this. This is my balance. If you do it, so the move is like that. If you move, I'm here. So look. So finish the fight. If it's your attack, then you move like that. You move like that, it's very impossible in real fight, in real combat. Impossible. Because this is like that attacking, this is like armor. Your mind is a crazy. <laughs> no, you cannot do that. So, for example, you, you attack like that. Stop here this time. Now, like here. Come on. So, if you don't move, you cannot reach me. You do not move. Attack me and like that. 
Come on, extend your body. Again, you attack. This is my point. See, there is no long range. Actually, no long range. Long range is there. Long range is gun and slingshot. You attack without your focus. Come on. You can. Now you attack. This is my point. Exactly. Are you sure you can? You can do that. And sometimes, like, come on, move. But for me, I like the bright side. Come on. This is the bright side. Or, look at this. Touch. Look, touch, touch. Not like this. Come on. Wait. Come on. What's that? Look, this one. That is the, the, the blade is different mechanics. See, that is Tatang. Really? Really? You know the Tatang? This is what we call fraction. Mm -hmm. Jim, fraction. You know fraction? The fraction. Tatang said fraction. Uh, you can uh, <laughs> explain that. What is, <laughs> what is the real fraction? Tatang said fraction. Actually. Oh. Uh, fraction, uh, I beg your pardon, is a again a misunderstood and misinterpreted word. Fraction used by Tatang meant a break in the series of feeding cuts. So the feeding cut is one, two, three, four, five. Once the student has learned how to take and parry those one two three four five he will break the pattern and start yes. three three six seven eight whatever okay and that is fraction that However, is rumpida 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 that's rumpida yes the same thing oh okay. rumpida uh, to break. yes uh however many others think of fraction as as a half beat uh, a very fast tricky half beat Mm -hmm. But this is part of the engaño. Correct. Yes. Again, this is caused by uh, a lack of understanding of Spanish words. Yes. And again, okay. the engaño, there is uh, already the fraction. And also the, the intercept is a part of fraction also. The engaño is oh. anticipate fraction. Yes. The, the defensive is to accurately to depend accurately to intercept so intercept and anticipate there is a fraction already have, yes in, in, in tagalog intercept is would be in english ambush correct <laughs> okay and the tagalog of ambush would be tambang okay tambang. so what tatang meant was you ambush the hand of the attacker by shifting your move your blade to where it will be able to ambush the hand of the attacker this is the whole concept of engaño okay and oh. engaño has several meanings engaño can mean enchant can also mean to trick to fool Okay, it can also have an equivalent meaning to treta. Again, meaning to trick. So, engaño is cheating, is lying, mm. which is the whole basis of the sword word. You are lying to your opponent You're all the lying. time. <laughs> so that's why that, like this the engaño of the blade is different manner than the stick look at the engaño of yes. the blade different look come on different oh. now for example i initiate being an engaño this is engaño in your stuff here like that come on move so now okay really move go on Okay. So this is also in Nanyo. Because I can't get it. Oh, come on. You stop here. Come on. That's in Nanyo. Now, how to 
Pinggan this one. So move. Oh. Interject. Come on, move. Come on, move. Continue. You cannot continue because of this. Look at the hole. It's a lift hole. Not like that. Because if you move like that, no, you, you can well, no. From here, no. From here, yeah, from here. Come on, move. Come on, girl. So different than the stick. The stick is different. Look at that stick is different. Come on. But the same principle. Okay, here we go. This is Balintao, come on. This is Balintao. Look at. Very important. Come on, move. Look. No need to like this. No. No need to have one. No, no. My body is here. Look. So, no need. Come on. Then have one like that. And then like this. No, oh, no need. This is like that right now. So different. Also, the stick is like from here. Yeah. Imagine this one, for example, this is like this. Come on, look. I'm here so that I go down. Now, I'm there. So then I up. No. Pass of here. That's the side too. So different. But the same in Ganyu. Because that's why. Brother Rumi, Jim Rumi. The blade is no need to power from the ground. We need speed and accuracy. Because it's very yes. strong. Any part of your yes. body. No need yes. vital point. No need vital point. Any part of your body. Finish the fight. There is no grappling. Exactly. Any part of your body. No need vital point. Sharp. So the speed and accuracy, proper timing. Exactly. Different, but the same principle, but different mechanics. Yes. Uh -uh. Uh, so it's like <clears throat> that. Thank you very much. No, thank for you. <laughs> Excuse me. I'd like to give proper credit for the statement, which came actually from Mr. Matt Galas, his attorney, Matt Galas. Uh, he says, Fencing is a conversation between two liars. Wow, I like that. Fencing is a conversation between two liars. Wow, I like that. Jeez, that is, that is good. <laughs> um, but uh, I want to just thank both of you. I, I know I've kept you long enough. Uh, so, folks, I did post the videos that were made in Australia when GM Romy visited uh, Maestro Roy Floro. I, there is a link on the comment section here how you can access those videos. I highly recommend them. I have them. I enjoy them. I'm still studying them, to be honest with you. Uh, and then as far as GM Yuli Romo, he is also teaching, too, and I highly recommend GM Yuli, so it's easy to get all of them. GM Yuli, they can just get a hold of you through Facebook Messenger, right? Yes. Yeah. I'm and always checking. Too from his, um, matter of fact, you and Mansoul got downloads, right? Uh, Mansoul is uh, always uh, fighting for the sparring uh, for, com uh, for uh, sport competition only. Okay, okay. Every Sunday, every Sunday, tomorrow, tomorrow, every Sunday. From the, you know, the, all the, especially there in uh, California, Los Angeles, the group, mostly in California, Los Angeles, mm -hmm. with a group of the, usually the Chiparis and Balintuak is mixed. So interesting to, you know, the, only the, you know, only the point system category, that is not for the, no, we cap to have multiple, no, it's a point system category, okay. Mansol, okay. every Sunday. Now, that's like that. Okay, you can, we can, it's that right. every time. You know. Perfect, perfect. All right. I can monitor every every day. I monitor those who are willing to. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no, I, no, I'm gonna be, yeah, and also I'm going to be in touch with you next week now that things are slowing down for me. Um, but uh, I want to thank both of you for coming on. This has just been absolutely incredible. Um, I mean, this is, jeez. Uh, 
uh yeah special mention yeah the folks um with julie we're all pulling for our gm julie's wife um so by all means um yeah you know you can take lessons with gm julie and all that definitely will help them okay um, to those watching to those who are watching this one like duran uh elric jundis and the other shout out for them so thank you thank you thank you guys for that uh you're uh, yeah. watching from Absolutely. there was a bunch of people duran and the others that's me yeah yeah a lot and also the group of elric jundis and the others uh, i can't mention so, okay so thank Definitely. you thank you that, that you mentioned shout out Okay, well, you both, um, again, I want to thank you both so much for uh, doing this. Uh, I really appreciate it. It was worth the wait. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it was definitely, definitely worth the wait. <laughs> this is all for you, Lee. This yeah, is well, you, for you. yeah, you too, Jim, Romy. Yeah, thank I mean, you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for your, uh, no, thank you for your uh, information. Thank you for your uh, brother, brother Jim. Uh, Rumi Makapagal. Yes. Anything for you, Yuli. Anything. Yeah, that's, I thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I Only appreciate the it. Of, uh, I hope the younger generation takes you guys. Actually, this class. is Bajubo and this is the Bajubo of KI. Yeah. Bajubo in KI. It's like that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Well, I hope the younger so, generation listens. We can continue. Uh, see you. Yeah. Brother yeah. Rumi, see you. Maybe next week. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right, Thank you guys. Everybody. Take care. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Ingat so, ah, ingat. Ingat. Kayo din, ingat din. Din, thank you very much, din. Oh, anytime. Thank you. Anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Wow, that wraps up uh, 386. I almost lost count. Um, that was fantastic. Who is next? So this is going to be kind of a hectic weekend. Um, Guru Tom Pena has Billy Brown tomorrow. And Sunday, not planned and not really crazy about it. But there's a double header. Uh, I'll be interviewing Mark Medeiros out of Canada. And Tom Pena will be interviewing Alex Ursha. Um, so yeah, he finally decided to come on. Uh, that that being Alex. So uh, yeah, double header on um, Sunday. I I'm going on at seven o'clock with uh, Mark. I don't recall when Tom's going on with Alex, uh, but that's all pinned in FMA discussion. So you can easily find out, just see who's uh, going where. And I'm not even sure about tomorrow's episode as far as uh, Billy Brown. I'm not sure when uh, Tom's going on. So, but yeah, um, again, so next week, um, I'm trying to wrap up a few. This month was supposed to be slow for me, uh, <laughs> uh, but it will get slower. So yeah. Um, Next week, who am I getting on? Uh, got to Kelly Warden wants to come on. Yeah, that's happening. So I have to make that happen. Uh, but anyway, I want to thank all of you guys who watched and all that. Uh, this was, this was, yeah, this was a good one, Dennis. Can't argue that, man. You know, I'm just so glad they both agreed to come on. There was some, uh, there were some scheduling difficulties, obviously with GM Yuli's wife and what have you. Um, but. We finally made it happen. It was well worth the wait. I thought they did fantastic. And some truth came out. You know, and I guess that some people are not going to be, might not like that. But what was said, you know, hey, you know, some of the things I've kind of thought, of, you know, that brought clarity as far as questions I had, as far as historically speaking with KI. And hopefully it did the same for those who are watching. But at any rate, yes, I'm going to be. Oh, and thank you, uh, GM Ray. Um, yeah, this was insightful, to say the least, um, as much as we were commenting on the back end. Um, kind of knew some things, just needed validation. And it was validated tonight, which, uh, which is always good. Uh, yeah, thank you. Oh, uh, GM Muley. 
Anytime. It's my pleasure. I absolutely love you. So any, anytime. And uh, right floor too. Just absolute gems, these guys. All of them. Yeah, so again, you know, if you guys interested in KI, I mean, you know, GM Ray Floro taps into what these guys are talking about tonight. GM Yuli. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I would definitely tap into these guys. I would definitely pick up the video set from Mong Romy, which I put in here. It's, I can't find it now. The comments are just, but uh, well worth it. Well, well, well worth it. Um, the money. And uh, so that's why I'm slowing down so I can actually get to look at some of these damn videos and actually study them. Uh, one of the best shows. Yeah, I can't argue with that, Brian. This will definitely be shared. I'm going to be downloading it like ASAP. But yeah, thank you all those stuck around. This is a long one. I kind of had the feeling it would be. So I appreciate you guys that hung out and stuck it out. All right. So yeah, check out those episodes this weekend. Again, uh, Billy Brown, Saturday. Doubleheader, Sunday. I'll be interviewing Mark Medeiros and Guru Tom will be interviewing Guru Alex. Who I guess we'll be doing some demos too. Um, yes, you. I'm going to be in touch, uh, GM Yuli. Uh, I want to get back to uh, into things now that again things are slowing down. So. Alrighty. Welcome, Kurt. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm checking out. So I'm gonna I have to uh, download this. And uh you too, Rich, and thank you for everything you're doing out there, West man, with armed services and all that. God bless you. All right, folks. Have a good night. Time for downloading.